Hey, good morning and welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 4 and we're, we've come to another one of those uh, famous verses. We're at Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13. Let me read verse 13 to us, all right? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So let's just notice right away here why this is such a powerful verse. This is a Bible promise. It is telling us that in the power of God, we can do all things that are needful spiritually. How? Not because of our own strength, not because of an internal strength that's welling up inside of me that's my own strength. No, because Christ, Christ who's in heaven, he sends his power down. He strengthens me. I can do all things, all things. That's another kind of a, kind of a big, that's a big bucket. All things. I can do all things. Who does them? I through Christ who strengthens me. So Christ is the essential piece, but he wants to do those things in me. Now, some people will say, oh, we're worried about this text. Part of this text isn't in there and this different version and so on. Even if there's some giant argument to be made that, uh, that we would say this verse a little bit different. It's still true, isn't it? It's still all true, right? According to the rest of the Bible, through the power of God working in us, we can do all things that God wants us to do. So this is a remarkable promise and uh, this, this can change your life experience. Uh, some people, this will be the difference between night and day to know. Because if you really know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, what can stop you? What is there that will stop you? There's nothing that can stop you. If you have faith simply in Jesus, if you know he has the strength and the power and the help for you, and that your Father in heaven wants good things for you, then how can, any, how can we be stopped by anything? If God is for us, another place in the Bible asks, then who can be against us? So God is for us, in fact, and that's why in the book of Philippians, we have this remarkable Bible promise, this remarkable statement, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I take it as a piece of truth. This is a piece of truth in my life. And of all the things, there's a lot of things I know and a lot of things I don't know, more, more things that I don't know, right? But I'll tell you one thing I do know, and that is that when I trust in the Lord Jesus, when I have faith in Jesus, there's nothing that's prevented. There's nothing that I cannot do if I seek him and it's his will. And that's the same for you. No matter what trials you have, no matter what temptations, what habits, what, what darknesses, what sad things you have, through Christ we can overcome. And I want to encourage you today to know that this is a Bible promise for you. Memorize it, claim it, lay hold of it hard, and put it into practice in your life today very firmly. And you'll be blessed today like you were not ever blessed on any other day of your life. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, it's true. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you, Lord, for a word of hope and a world of despair. We need your hope. We need to draw close to you. We want to be right. There are so many, so many things to cause us to be discouraged and hopeless and ha have no clarity about that there is a right or wrong or that there's anything to hope about. But through Jesus, Lord, there's everything to hope about. Lord, may every hearer take it to heart. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is my prayer today for them and for me. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. And I can't add anything to that. Hallelujah, and have a wonderful day in the Lord's service. God be with you.